so this is from chapter 7 if you are following the book right so chapter 7 introdu introduction to list and uh, again we I skipped the list slicing anything with slicing I skip because that's magic stuff right we're more interested in like learning fundamental concepts of how how does this stuff work how can I use it okay so let me go here uh, so the book doesn't have this example but I uh, will present it anyway uh, you won't see this in a quiz but it's important to understand how uh, how lists are made right so let me go here and what are we working with list right here and we go to lists create an array an array array is a continuous uh, block of memory where we can save values that conceptually give us a list okay so we'll create an array <clears throat> everything happens in here so we'll say uh, numbers equals and then I have to import array let me see array and uh, I guess that's okay uh, array s array okay so one function uh, argument that we need is what kind of data are we working with so we're like okay I want to work with I integers and if you tell Python that you're working with integers then you better give it integers <laughs> so we say okay let me create a list maybe this is too easy we'll mix up the numbers number six the number one the number uh, three and one more the number 10 okay so now we have a we have an array of integers and has value 6 1 uh, 3 and 10 okay and we can iterate through them I guess we'll iterate through them for num in range uh, zero to uh, can we use length? I guess we'll try it, right? And if it blows up, well, we'll fix it. Okay, length. Oh, nums. I'm not sure we can do that. Oh, the example doesn't show us that, but it's not generating an, a warning for me here. So if we get an error, we'll come back and have to fix it. So then we're like, okay, so what do we want to do? Well, here we just want to print, right? We're like, oh. I guess we'll print the nums value at an index. Okay, so we go to main. No test case, we're not returning data, it's just a demonstration of how to uh, create an array. List dot create array and iterate through the array let me clear this section here and let's see if it works it works right so six one three ten again when you create an array here we create an array of uh, one two three four elements right then we're stuck we're stuck with that we're stuck with using those four blocks of memory if we wanted to if we wanted to store six we couldn't that's how arrays work you just get a predefined uh, number of memory spaces in this case four memory spaces where uh, we can store values and the values have to be integer type okay <clears throat> questions here We can add values into the array. We can select the index. 
and let me see if we can append uh, let me see here uh, usually if you want to inspect something you would do nums dot uh, append okay yeah so let me see here um, uh, let me see thought I read that you couldn't expand it but let me see if it adds one to the end and if it does then that's great right so let's see a pen number uh, four let's see what we get if we get a four at the end that means we can expand the rays I thought I had read that we couldn't because in the other languages C++ we, you can't but let me see maybe Python's more flexible let's see here uh, gotta go to main and we have to run and yeah you can append to the end of the array meaning some programmer wrote code for us that adds memory for us behind the scenes that so that's pretty cool you can also uh, insert at a specific spot like say you wanted to like insert a value here then you can right you have to do uh, 0 1 2 so you say on index 2 enter some value and you can do that with the insert statement so let's try that um, dot insert at index 2 the number uh, 0 so let me see 0 1 2 so then we should have maybe 6 1 0 3 10 4 as the list right so let's see main 6 1 0 3 10 4 yeah so with insert uh, you can select the index where you want the number to be when you do this like it just if you have like a long list like maybe like 10,000 items in the list and you want to insert like a element 100 then all the 9900 other elements have to be shifted one to the right so that's kind of like a slow insertion right so uh, for this reason like usually append is recommended because it adds it to the end and it'll work faster depending on the requirements right so questions here on um, arrays yes can you repeat what you mentioned earlier about the memory store is that like in the heap or in the stack that the um, the code is essentially staying there until it's not being used anymore uh, it was dynamic so anytime it's dynamic meaning like we had four here right four slots but it let me like add more stuff to it so any any time you're able to have a pens or inserts then it's on the heap the data's on the heap because that's the the data that programmers can manage behind the scenes uh, if it was a stack array then usually the stack is not forgiving like it doesn't let us like grab bigger chunks of memory because remember the stack's always sequential and the heap like it's a big block of memory and it's random like the when we when we create an array or a list then there's a memory algorithm that'll go and say okay he wants 20 bytes of memory let me go look for a, a block of uh, 20 prob probably with a buffer a memory that's available to the programmer and then it'll, it'll lay it off for us on the heap right so right so this gives us the capability of increasing the mem increasing that that uh i don't know i don't want to say stack because in case that's wrong but it is that what is going on here? We're increasing it. The memory, yeah. Memory? yeah. Okay. Well, usually, let me uh, let me go to one note. Usually, uh, it'll give us a buffer, right? So here I created. So this doesn't work like the C plus uh, plus native array, right? This someone wrote code to 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 create this array class. So in memory. Yeah, go here and oh, arrays, right? So, so we have this, and we have heap uh, stack, and I named it nums, right? So I named it nums. So nums will be here again completely made up number some large memory address and then assuming this one sta started maybe like on y110 and then y14 
y18, y122, y126, and maybe a few more. Right, so always the first element is referenced here. So now like our diagrams, like, okay, so the list starts at y110. Originally I had one, two, three, four elements, right? But when the arrays created, the programmers more than likely uh, created a buffer for us. Maybe they're like, uh, they asked for four, I'm gonna give them three more blocks. So that means we have one, two, three insertions before we completely run out of the memory here. When that happens, then the memory algorithm has to search the heap for a bigger block of memory. And then all this data here has to be moved to that bigger block of memory, right? Because they can't give us like a big block of memory not knowing that we're going to use all those uh, elements, right? So here we created four and then maybe they'll be like, oh, let's give them a, a, an extra buffer. And that's how this stuff works. That's covered extensively in uh, programming two, right? This concepts. Uh, don't worry, you're not going to see questions like this in the exam. It'll be more like, how do I use a list? And you're not going to see any array questions. I uh, bring up the arrays because uh, that's a fun, the, the, funda the foundation that's used to create the list, uh, which we'll cover next, right? So any questions on arrays? That's all I wanted to cover in arrays, and we'll move on to list now. So let me stop.